I've probably been on hundreds of overdose calls. Because it's not coming from uh, a pharmacy, it's coming from drug dealers or a friend. Don't trust what you're being told. They, they took one pill, they stopped breathing. Paramedics in Washington County are on the front lines of the fentanyl crisis every day. Now, they're telling their stories and sharing a warning that one pill can kill. All of the medications that we administer for overdoses is kept in this red bag. Mark Atkinson is a paramedic firefighter with Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue. In his 15 years as a paramedic, he's seen hundreds of overdose calls including cases where the synthetic opioid fentanyl so was found, of, uh, and it's happening more and more. We recently responded on a call um, here in Beaverton uh, where an individual took um, what he thought was just a pain pill. I think he thought he was taking Percocet, um, but it wasn't. It, it stopped his breathing, and uh, luckily he was in an area where somebody noticed him, was able to call 911. And when those calls come in, first responders in Washington County spring into action. So Washington County Sheriff's Office arrived first. They were able to administer the life-saving medication Narcan to him before we got there. So this call had a really positive outcome. But not all overdose calls go so well. Brittany May is a senior paramedic at Metro West Ambulance. The most common types of overdoses we're seeing in Washington County are um, meth, heroin, uh, fentanyl and Xanax, or what people think is Xanax. A lot of times it ends up being laced with fentanyl. But even with overdose reversing medications like Narcan, also known as naloxone, overdose calls can sometimes have serious, even deadly outcomes. I went on a teenager that took what they thought was Xanax and they did it alone. And so it ended up being laced with fentanyl and Tylenol and uh, family found them probably several hours later, and they were actually, at that time, dead. They didn't have a heart rate, they didn't have um, any respiratory status. So for us, we came in and had to start working in cardiac arrest, and um, eventually we were able to get them back, gave Narcan, had very minimal effect because of how much was uh, in their system. Sean Wood is the clinical manager at Metro West Ambulance. He's seen the dangers of fentanyl-laced pills firsthand as well, even in some local schools. In the past, back in 2019, we saw a big uptick in, in overdoses that were happening at middle schools. And um, it, would, it tended to come in, as it start as one call, and then 15 minutes later, there'd be two, three. And it really, it started as, as sort of a resource drain for us because it took three ambulances out of out of service putting them on on those calls and those calls have become an opportunity to provide education not just to students but to parents as well and, and a lot of that was just making sure that kids understand they shouldn't be taking medications that aren't prescribed directly for them from a physician and that you know you may not know what this pill this other kid handed you is really really is and one pill can truly kill.